Hey guys, coming to you with the Beach Body Challenge results. Uh, we want to kind of tell who won the winning gym, the winning overall person, and kind of talk about the biggest takeaways we got from this. Uh, first off, great job to everybody who took part in it. Uh, we had a, we saw a lot of tremendous results. We'll go over some specific numbers here in a minute. But first, we wanted to kind of talk about some major takeaways we each took from the. Uh, from the thing we went into this in depth in the podcast that came out today so if you want some more info on that go listen to the podcast I'm also gonna be writing an article kind of just laying out how we did the beach body challenge what we saw that's gonna come out tomorrow so be on the lookout for that but real quick we're each going to talk about uh, one takeaway we saw for me the biggest thing I saw was um, making sure when you were losing weight that we're trying to hold on to our our muscle mass we, we had a lot of people lose a lot of weight and that's gonna be hard if you're losing 10 to 15 pounds in six weeks to hold on to your muscle but if you can hold on to your muscle, at, at least not lose it, just le at least maintain, your body fat percent is gonna go down a ton more than if you lose both muscle and body fat. So making sure that we're hitting our protein numbers even when we're in a calorie deficit is gonna be huge. Making sure we're still getting that strength training. We don't wanna just try to lose it by, uh, we don't wanna just lose it by doing a whole bunch of cardio and everything. Uh, we wanna make sure we're holding on to that muscle because that's what's gonna transform our body, uh, keep our body fat percent down. So uh, be mindful of that in the future as you're going forward. Uh, when you're trying to lose weight, make sure you're hitting that protein, make sure you're still getting strength training because that's gonna have the biggest impact on your body fat percent. Yeah, another uh, really uh, really interesting thing that we saw once we gathered uh, once we gathered all the data and uh, like I said, uh, you can if you want more information on this, you can listen to the podcast or read the article when it comes out. But basically, every week you had a certain amount of uh, of points that you were trying to get based on um, you know based on different goals that you're trying to hit every single day. And uh, I think uh, over over one week, the total amount of points that you could accumulate was 42. And uh, the people that had the most success were still not hitting 42, uh, 42 points every week. The people that were getting the biggest success were, uh, in, uh, were averaging anywhere from 28 points to uh, 37 points. So nobody was, uh, nobody was perfect, but everybody that was hitting those numbers, they were consistent all the way through the week. You could definitely see trends in their points where they were you know, really maxing out maybe their, uh, their water intake or uh, tracking the food, but they were consistent on all of those uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the process. And uh, so after, after looking at that, you know, a lot of people are intimidated by these things about, you know, that they either want to be all in or all out and think, you know, if I can't, if I can't do this 100%, there's not a point in, uh, in me doing it. And that's completely not the case. And now we've, you know, we've got evidence we can show you that where you can see it. So um, let, that, uh, let that be encouraging to you if you have not done the Beach Body Challenge before, or if you just got done and you want to continue, uh, continue on moving forward with it, let that be encouraging with you to help you, uh, to help you keep taking steps towards your progress. Yeah, um, for, for me and working with uh, you guys at 2717, the biggest thing that I saw was the people that had um, really open conversations with those around them, you know, family members and the people they spend a lot of time with, um, it was really, really helpful for them to, uh, to have someone that could hold them accountable and just help them make easy choices and make those choices um, the easiest instead of constantly having to go and make these really difficult choices over and over again across the weekend. And so um, for those of you that are going to continue going forward, if you are serious about this and it is something that you really are passionate about and want to do and you have a very specific goal, I just encourage you to continue to be open with the people around you and, uh, and not have a superior attitude or feel like you're going against what they want to do and their choices, but just have a really honest conversation with them. That can give you the greatest sense of freedom and can really help you set yourself up for success. So um, I encourage you guys to be open with the people around you. Um, we had a lot of really good uh, conversations or I had great conversations with some of our clients about family members and the things that they were able to pass on to their family who weren't even a part of the challenge. So, um, Cool. Yeah. So, so that's some, some quick takeaways. Like we said before, guys, if you want a uh, in, more in-depth com uh, conversation, go listen to our podcast, um, check out the article. But overall, great job, everybody. So real quick, I'm going to go over um, all the results that we saw. And I'm, first, I'm going to highlight the overall results. Now I'm going to highlight some people who did well in each category. Then we'll talk about the winning individual. Then we'll talk about the winning team. Okay, guys. So first, uh, we had 32 participants who finished uh, the Beach Body Challenge, who scanned in and then scanned out at the at the end uh, over the three gyms. On average, they lost 3.95 pounds of fat in six weeks, so almost four pounds of pure body fat. 
Um, total fat pounds lost was 126.3. So in six weeks as a group, we lost 126 pounds of body fat, which that's really awesome. Average body fat percent loss was 1.74%. So almost 2% body fat in six weeks. Guys, that's amazing. Uh, do that four or five more times and your body is completely transformed. So really proud of you guys for all the effort that you put in across the board. Really good results for a group that big, okay? Um, so now we'll talk about some individual top performers. Wanting to give a shout out to the people who really stood out. First, for the average points, we talked about the average points, the best score you could get, I think was 42 points a week. We had three people <coughs> come in, just blow it out of the water. Vicki Tindall from uh, CrossFit Blue Shark averaged 37 points a week for six weeks. That's almost perfect. That's, that's incredible. Great job, Vicki. Uh, you had the highest average points. Uh, Sam Thomas also did awesome in the points. He had 33 uh, points per week. And then Davis Henderson had 31.67 uh, points per week. So all three of you guys from Blue Shark, great job to all three of you. You did awesome. You, you, you were consistent all six weeks. You stuck with, you bought in, you stuck with it. So great job to you. Um, so let's talk about some numbers. Body fat pounds lost. I, we were blown away by some of these results. Caroline Simpson from Coyote, you lost three, uh, I'm sorry, 11.9 pounds of body fat. Awesome, awesome work. I mean, that's almost 12 pounds of pure fat that you lost in six weeks. Great job. Gary Howard, 11.2 pounds of body fat from Coyote as well. Great job, Gary. I know that y'all did it together. And that goes back to what Caleb talked about, having a support system in place. Um, if you do it with somebody, you're gonna be a lot more likely to succeed. So you guys held each other accountable. You did great on that. So great job to both of you. Davis Henderson, we talked about him a second ago, average points, he lost 12.4 uh, body fat pounds. So over 12 pounds of fat in six weeks. That's an uh, average of over two pounds of body fat a week. Incredible, great job, Davis. Sam Thomas, 12.1 pounds of body fat. So great job, Sam. Another person shows consistency pays off. What we saw is the people who averaged the most points over the six weeks were the ones that had the best progress. It's as simple as that, so great job to you guys. All right, let's talk about the body, body fat percent loss. This was the main number we were focused on. We wanted to lose body fat while not sacrificing muscle mass, therefore decreasing our body fat percent. So I wanted to name off a bunch of uh, top performers in this category. Sam Thomas, 4.5% body fat loss in six weeks. Gary Howard, 4.5% body fat loss in six weeks. Caroline Simpson, 5% body fat loss in six weeks. Ashley Taylor, 27-17, 3.8% body fat uh, percent lost in six weeks. Rachel Record, 27-17, 3.4% body fat in six weeks. Cass Dodgen, Blue Shark, 3.9% body fat in six weeks. Vicki Tindall, 3.9% body fat in six weeks. So great job, all you guys really blew it out of the water. Some of the top performers in the, in the competition, really impressed by your, your uh, loss guys and your dedication. The winning individual was, from 2717, Wendy Bird. She lost 5.5% body fat percent in six yeah. weeks. Great job, Wendy. Wendy. Awesome. Now, the reason Wendy was able to lose so much body fat, she didn't lose the most body fat pounds. She lost 8.9 body fat pounds, but she also put on almost three pounds of muscle in the six weeks. So you combine the body fat loss with the muscle gain, that's what's gonna really have a big impact on your body fat percent. So. Wendy Bird lost the most body fat percent in the six weeks. Awesome job, Wendy. Uh, you're the winner of the individual prize, so great job to you. And the winning team was CrossFit Blue Shark. You guys blew it away, blew it out of the water. Great job, guys. Across the group, average fat pounds lost 8.53. So the average person lost over eight pounds of body fat in six weeks. Average body fat percent loss was 3.4%. And then average points over the six weeks was 26.75. So you guys were the most consistent and you averaged the most points over the six weeks. And that showed in your numbers. You lost the most body fat pounds and you lost the most body fat percent. So great job to everybody on the six week challenge. This was a phenomenal success. Everybody really blew us away with uh, how dedicated they were to it. And we're really proud of you guys. Uh, we'll be getting your prizes soon, but uh, congrats to everybody who took part. And remember, the goal for this is not just to win this, but to keep going, keep it going. Keep Keep implementing these habits that you developed, and uh, hopefully you won't have to do the Beachbody Challenge next year. So great job, guys. Good job. Good job.